All right, guys, so I know why you're here. It's for Beyond Beef from Beyond Meat. Finally got it. And you guys can get it too from this website that is gonna be in the description box below. They will deliver it to anywhere in the United States once they get their supplies as well. Now we asked you guys in a community post what recipe you wanted to see when we got this Beyond Beef and a couple of you guys said meatloaf. We asked my mother-in-law, my sister-in-law, and they said meatloaf. meatloaf. We went on Beyond Meat's Instagram and all throughout the comments section, everybody was saying they want to see meatloaf. So, what we're gonna give you? Meatloaf! meatloaf. <laughs> <laughs> Be sure to use that link in the description. It will get you $10 off your first order. Now let's go ahead and head inside and get to this meatloaf. Get to the meat. Get to the meat. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So first off, where did we find? Oh my gosh! There is a deer in the backyard. There oh, is wow. literally a deer. There is literally a deer in the backyard. There is literally a deer in the backyard right now, and this is why we do what we do. We do not. Eat these beautiful animals. Oh my gosh, hi! We're making Beyond Meat. It's not made from animals. We're making a meatloaf, hi! You're so cute. Oh, you're so cute. Okay, I'll leave you alone. I'll leave you alone. Where are you going, buddy? Do you oh, want to stay with some vegan meatloaf? So cute. Come on, let's go. Oh. All right, see you later. Bye. Love you. Love you. Okay, well we have a video to make, so bye, Bambi. Okay, that was that was crazy. That was nuts. We in one other video, I swear I saw some deer running in the background. Yeah, but we were too late. We were it too late. Gone. Yeah. That was insane. That was nuts. Okay, so where did we find the Beyond Beef? We found it at Whole Foods. What's in it? We're gonna go ahead and put the nutrition facts right here. And on the back, it says you can make tacos, chili, uh, meatballs, and burgers. But it does not say how to make meatloaf. Meatloaf. The loaf. <laughs> so that's why we're doing this video. We wanted to challenge ourselves, guys. All right, so let's go ahead and get into what we're putting into this meatloaf. Okay, so we do have a meatloaf recipe and I kind of just modified it. Um, I'll show the link to it up here. Um, all right, so we've got some cashew milk. We've got some vegan breadcrumbs. This is Edward and Sons brand. This is aquafaba, which is the liquid from a can of garbanzo beans. We've got our seasoning mix with all of our favorite seasonings to go inside of meatloaf right there. And that's it. We're also going to cut up some onions and add some garlic as well. All right, so we're opening it up right now. We let it thaw out for a bit because they say let it thaw. Just for a little bit. And this is it the looks. It immediately smells just like the. It smells like the burgers. Yeah, the burgers, and the burgers okay. have a very particular smell. Can't quite put my hands on it. Very particular. Can't put my finger on it. My hands. As mm. soon as we opened that, it smelled very particular. Particular. Okay, go ahead. All right, I'm just gonna dump that bad boy in there. All right, and we're just gonna break that bad boy up. It's very easy to break up. Mm -hmm. Very manageable. You don't want to over mix it. That's the main thing with any time you're making meatloaf. You don't want to over mix the meat. I think that's, that's enough. Good, right? Yeah, that's good enough. Okay. All right, so let's start adding ingredients. Again, we are gonna have the full recipe in the description box below. All right, and our onions. All right, so we're gonna put in the breadcrumbs. Two third, two third cups. Put in the spices as needed. Garlic. Two tablespoons of aquafaba, which is equivalent to about half of an egg. A little over half. A little over half. Yeah. Next, we just mix that bad boy up. Get all them seasonings in there. Seasoned up. Mmm. Actually, it smells quite tasty with it those does. seasonings. We can add a little bit of 
tablespoon of barbecue sauce in there too. I will now show you guys my quick barbecue sauce recipe that's actually going to be used for the glaze that's going on top. We're going to put this in the loaf pan and then we're going to put the glaze on top and pop it in the oven. <laughs> All right, so now we are going to go ahead and load it up. Definitely feels like meat, man. It feels like it looks like meat, man. That yeah. season, all them seasonings we put in there. Hooking it up. All right, guys, I'm just doing what I normally used to do when I would make regular, like, turkey meatloaf was, like, my go-to meatloaf. I'm just kind of smoothing out the top, trying to make sure everything gets nice and even. Once that's all smoothened out, I will pour the glaze on top. Okay, and if you are trying to get a nice perfect top, just get another piece of parchment paper to help flatten it down nice and gently. And um, yeah, once you lift it up, it should be Ooh. nice and smooth and ready for the glaze. Okay, pour it right in the middle. It'll flow to where it needs to go, like good energy. <laughs> <laughs> and you guys can use whatever you want to use. If you want to use your favorite barbecue sauce, if you want to use, do a quick homemade sauce, I'll put the recipe for this in the description box. Okay, so the glaze is on and we are putting this in for one hour. We're gonna check it at about half an hour, 45 minutes. Yes. Bing bong. All right, so over here we have my husband's famous fluffy mashed potatoes made with just... Watel, <laughs> <laughs> butter, and seasonings. Water and butter. Water, butter, seasonings. <laughs> <laughs> and we just need to make the green beans at the last minute. Green beans. Green beans. All right, guys, so we just took the meatloaf out of the oven. We put it for an hour and 15 minutes and we're just letting it sit for 15 minutes to uh, cool off. We recommend that you use a meat thermometer so that you see that it says 165 degrees and you should be good to go. All right, so this is Rocky's lentil gravy recipe. We're out of flour, so to help thicken it, we're just using a little bit of the mashed potatoes. If you have potato starch, you can use that instead and that'll help to just thicken up the gravy itself. So I'm gonna add a little bit more, just a tiny bit more. Ooh, mm -hmm. I like that. Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna add a tiny bit more and we'll be ready to plate it up. This is the final product. It's like moving away from the edges, which is usually a really good sign to let you know that it's baked all the way through, looking nice and sizzling and juicy. Mm -hmm. That glaze looks really good too. Oh, nice. it, oh. mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Smells really good guys. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is just so you guys can see how it looks from all angles. mashed potatoes, lentil gravy, the green beans tossed around, a little bit of garlic butter, and our tomatoes. Guys, I'm excited. let me just show y'all, because everybody wants to know how does it hold up. I don't know how anybody else's holds up, but my recipe, <laughs> my recipe, this is not going anywhere. This is not falling apart. It is whole, it literally looks unmistakably like, like meatloaf. meatloaf. Now my mom and my sister just tasted it. They were like, that's crazy. Now we're about to taste it. Yeah. Okay guys, we want to just show you how it cuts. Just like that. Wow. Just away. Wow. All right, go ahead, scoop that up. Let me get you another angle. Ooh, that plate though. That plate. 
Hold on, let's get some of that mash. And that's Rocky's lentil gravy. Oh yeah. Mm, I need to take some pictures of you. Mmm. How is that? Just like Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving? Mm. Okay, guys. I'm, we are I'm, taking I'm sorry. some I'm, pictures. I'm chowing down. I'm sorry. What happened, baby? Want some? Want some? Mmm. Mm. <laughs> you like it? What? Let me see. Thumbs up? Was that a thumbs up? <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. I'm gonna take a little taste now. You I want it? You so want it by itself or with the stuff? I want to taste it by itself. Okay. Then I want to taste it with the. Okay. Sorry, guys. We would have done a sit down, but it's literally like you don't even want to know. Yeah, it's late. <laughs> it's, it's late. Mm. We spent a, we spent a good while, you know, trying to get this together for you guys so that when you make it, it's just right and you enjoy it and all that mm. good stuff. So. Oh wow, that tastes <clears> like meatloaf. Right. It not only does it taste like meatloaf, it has the consistency of meatloaf. Has really good bounce back, guys. Like those little white granules or whatever they put, um, when you first pick it up and you cook it, and they, they turn into like little bristles or something. And like, wow. I'm sorry, this is like, you can't tell the difference, man. Wow. That's what that's what your sister and your your mom yeah. said. Yeah. You can't tell the difference. That is meatloaf. Yeah, yeah bounce back. my sister said make sure I show the bounce back. Mm. <laughs> like how solid it holds, holds together. Holds together. Yeah, it tastes like the burger, mm -hmm. but with the extra seasonings we put in it, mm -hmm. and then also that mixture that you made. Yeah, the glaze. That homemade, glaze. that homemade glaze. <laughs> Top notch. Okay. Y'all need to stop what you're doing, go to the store, buy this, get it in your belly <laughs> after you cook it with our recipe. Get it done. All right, guys. Don't forget to like, like, comment, comment, subscribe. Subscribe. You know. You gotta, you gotta subscribe. subscribe. You gotta subscribe. Right. Share. Share. And also, don't forget to hit that description box below. Click on that link. If you cannot find it in your store, that link below is going to get you $10 off. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be the best place to find it for you because they do ship nationwide. $10 right. off your first order. $10 off your first order. You can't go wrong. Right? Full recipe in the description box below. Below. And as always, don't forget to drink, drink your, your almond, almond milk, milk and zip, zip up, up your core. <laughs> How's it going, bro? I'm I'm murdering, I'm murdering this thing, man. I <laughs> I can't believe it tastes so much like meatloaf. Like this is yeah. nuts. Yeah, it's crazy. Mm. Yeah, man. Was this was Wesley's back for more? No, he's plotting over here. Drink your apple juice, boy. <laughs> you <gonna> walk off. <laughs> I don't need none of this. Drink your apple juice. Oh, guys, that's a sign. Share this with everybody you know. Oh, so precious.